Hello, my third grader friends. This week, we are continuing what we started last week. Do you remember what we were working with? I'll give you a hint. It is this. This is our color wheel. So we were doing warm, cool colors. If you guess that, you're right. What are the warm colors? Hmm. If you're saying this side of the color wheel, you're correct. And then what are the cool colors? Well, yes, it's the other side of the color wheel. So warm and cool. Warm colors remind us of fire and cool colors remind us of a nice crisp dip in the pool. So our project uses both. We started this last week, but we are going to finish it this week. We did not finish coloring it in. Um, we will do that today. So half of our paper is cool and the other half is warm. We have our sun on the warm part and our moon on the cool part. The materials you use to color it in and how you want to draw the face was up to you. Let's get right into it. Here we have our drawing from last week. We only got through to the Sharpie drawing. So we're going in, I'm using colored pencils, but you can use markers, crayons, watercolors, whatever you'd like. I like using colored pencils because as you can tell, you can make it light or dark. So I'm starting with my moon shape and I'm making her purple. You could make her the moon green, blue, whatever you'd like. You do not have to copy exactly what I do. How you style it is also up to you. Um, I would actually prefer it if you don't copy me exactly be because you are your own wonderful artist and I want to see your creativity. I'm going in with my eyes on my sun yellow. You can choose whatever color on the warm side that you would like. Oh, I did add in some more Sharpies because when I am creating, I often change my mind or add things. Still adding more details like the rosy cheeks and the lips. So I'm doing the same thing that I did with my moon. I'm doing a colored pencil and drawing it very lightly over the whole face. That allows the other parts, the cheeks, the lips, and the eyes to really pop out. I am going a little bit darker under the eyebrows and under the nose for some shadows. The next part I think is one of my favorite parts and that's coloring in yep the outside of the sun so your outside of your sun might not look like mine with the zigzags yours could be wavy lines whatever it may be I just think it's fun because it's nice repetition that means a repeating shape or line for my outside of my sun I did red triangles and then I went in with orange that I went over again with red tips. That gives a little bit of dimension and some interest. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to use watercolors. Remember, use whatever supplies you have, but I'm using watercolors to color in that background. Next is watercolor again for the moon background. Once again, use whatever supplies you have. I'm doing a blue, but you could try out to see if you could do a galaxy with like dark purples and and blue that would be pretty interesting as you can see I do have yellow stars and that is the only part I will let happen warm on the cool side we're all done with our Sun and moon make sure you take a photo of it and post it onto our Google classroom I can't wait to see yours bye